I don't believe you have to be Mormon to understand this video. It'll help though. Because there are two references in the Book of Mormon, which is why people call us Mormons as opposed to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is the name of our church. The Iron Rod was a dream that uh, one of the prophets in the Book of Mormon, which is uh, a, an ancient history of uh, people and their prophets on this continent, he had a vision of an iron rod that led to eternal life, and we were to hold on to that and strictly adhere to the laws and regulations in order to get to God, which, you know, is really about good Christian living. So, you know, the Ten Commandments, okay? Then there was an, an incident which was real where there was a magical, a, a divinely crafted... Um, compass that would point them to the right direction to the promised land if they followed it faithfully and when they didn't then the arrow um, you know went haywire so the answer to this question right up front and I'm going to repeat it is that they're both correct the Liahona Mormons and Iron Rod Mormons are just different personality types. Now, if you've done any study of uh, C.G. Young you'll, and have experienced the Myers-Briggs test, then you'll know, I'm an ENTJ, that there are ways and businesses use these to kind of get a sense for how a person tends to be hardwired in their personality. The Enneagram, which I highly recommend, is um, is more ancient, it's more mystical, but it also gives you a sense for what your tendencies are. Um, now remember, none of these are permanent. So it's, it's, um, it's on a continuum because we change. Um, and, and the optimum solution for our growth is to embrace where it is we are right now, our tendencies, and then work to incorporate the lesser used parts of who we were. That's that's a psychological uh, truth that the lesser part of who we are unconsciously drives our bus. And so if, if our consciousness can have a better communication with our unconscious, then we'll be more of a whole person. And that's why many uh, psychologists, unions, even Freudians, analyze dreams because dreams are a way of telling a story about our unconscious that if we look at it, our, our consciousness can understand what parts we're leaving behind. So Richard Pohl is the one who first came up with this, and I'm going to put a link here, talking about how Mormons tend to be either Leahona oriented or iron rod oriented. Iron rod means we've got all the answers and all we have to do is go down the checklist and there we are. And it, and it opens us up for some of the criticism that Christians have that Mormons think they can earn their way in to the kingdom of heaven, which is not true because ultimately it is Christ's grace. After all we do, it is only through him. He is the only one who can save us. Now, Leahona people tend to be less dogmatic and, you know, there are a lot of uh, psychologists and writers, Nietzsche included, who really attacked the dogmatic way of doing things because they thought that life was, you know, more open and it was, um, th there was more possibility and that God didn't have his hand and finger in everything that we did. Some people think, for example, uh, that Mitt Romney is iron rod oriented, and I do. I tend to, and maybe less, you know, speaking from the heart. Whereas Rick Santorum tends to be, I think, more speaking from the heart. So, you know, I, I tend to be more Leahona, so I, I'm moved by Rick Santorum, and he's not a Mormon. I'm a Mormon. Mitt Romney's a Mormon. I think he's a hypocrite. <laughs>